Oh, no suspension. Oh, gotta get used to that. Hey, yo, what's up, Duff here? Look what I'm on. I'm on the V8S. Yep, on the V8S, we're taking out for a combination range test just all around, uh, just what's a V8S feel like, you know? Compared to my V10F, I can tell you it definitely feels thinner and definitely feels lighter. Has a uh, supposed rated top speed of 22 miles an hour. Supposed range of, I don't know, it said in the box, like something like 40 something, but that ain't gonna happen. I'm just curious, I, I was thinking about taking it like my normal loop that kind of goes down into town and back, which usually is around 20 miles. I'm curious what kind of battery I'll have left. My biggest concern is uh, adjusting my speed appropriately for riding this wheel. You know, I'm so used to now riding, you know, 30 miles an hour without even thinking about it. Uh, this one has a top speed of 22. So, you know, I probably want to keep it in the upper teens most of the way here to be safe, which is about what I'm doing right now. The wheel feels super light, super thin. Uh, the pedals are uh, significantly smaller than I'm used to as well. So I don't think pedal comfort is going to be a great thing. I do have my PID zoom uh, finger horn mounted to this, as you can hear. So just in case if I get around some pedestrians, I will be sounding the alarm. The loud enough but not startling alarm. And I have, I have to think a little bit about this route because again, on my normal wheels that are fast and have suspension, I can easily keep up with traffic, you know, bouncing back and forth between sidewalk transitions is no big deal. Uh, with a V8S, it's gonna be a big deal, <laughs> at least for me. So I have to uh, consider uh, my route. It feels like the pedals have a slight upward tilt. And right here's a duck. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. It's okay, you don't have to run. He just didn't understand that I was not a threat. So, um, all right, I'll check in uh, when there's something to check in about. Right now, it feels like the pedal, like I said, the pedals have a little bit of an upward tilt, um, which doesn't feel that good. Uh, maybe I'll, I don't know, with the emotions, you can kind of uh, adjust the angle on the fly, so maybe I'll do that. All right, so first change is um, you know, this section that I would normally be out on the main road there, hauling ass and running up the rear end of cars in front of me uh, with my normal wheels. I am instead on the sidewalk uh, like I was with the N10 Mini, of course going much faster than the Mini, uh, but I am on the sidewalk, which has a bump penalty on a non-suspension wheel, and the, the, the uh, tire feels like it has a, a high amount of air in it, so that's kind of uh, not giving me much relief either. Uh, I'll be fine though, I'll be fine. I do love this little pit zoom horn. If you look on my channel, um, I did a review yesterday, I believe. It's like 39 bucks and uh, super flexible uh, to install. Lots of different ways you can install it. Lots of different configuration options for the, for the chimes themselves, different volumes, different types. So it's, uh, it's cool. I'm a big fan. Being able to just um, quickly change the direction of this thing just with uh, my feet. You don't need a whole lot of body involvement. This can all be feet because it's so light and the tire's thin. Um, yeah, like I said, when I bought it, I mean, this is like a perfect last mile wheel. Like if you, like if you take public transportation or something, uh, this, is, this is really a nice wheel. And I noticed last night on my live stream that um, they have this deal back, you know, where you can uh, get $500 off the cost of this wheel. So you can get it for the same price I did, which is around 600 bucks. So, if you're looking for one of these now is a good time to buy it. And it's maneuverable, very maneuverable. Uh, speaking of the live stream, I did do a three hour and I don't know, 20 minute or 15 minute live stream last night. So if you wanna check it out, you can. I opened up my V13 that I traded two wheels for last night on stream. I talked about the ET Max that I'm getting and uh, we talked about all kinds of other things too. If you wanna check it out, uh, it'll probably be linked at the end of this video, and I also do have it available as a podcast on all major podcasting platforms. Just look for uh, Duff's PEV live stream, uh, and I also always have the links on eucarmy.com as well. 
Unfortunately, my knees are already feeling the penalty of not having suspension, <clears throat> going over all the, the different seams in the sidewalk. Definitely feeling it. I played pickleball yesterday and today, oh, and Friday. So I played pickleball three days in a row, played volleyball Thursday night, so my knees uh, were already less than stellar, and this is not helping that situation. All right, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna do that normal route down into Naples. It's just, it's gonna, it's gonna punish my knees more than necessary. And I'm not gonna do that for a V8S <laughs> test ride. Yeah, um, I, just, I just don't see the benefits. So instead, I just turned around, I'm gonna be going to Dunkin' Donuts instead. We're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna try to get mileage over on this side of town, closer to where I live and like stay on paths that are not sidewalks possibly. That won't be uh, quite as annoying for me to, um, to get up some miles on. Because right now I've only gone uh, via GPS, I've gone uh, 2.68 miles. Yep, that's it. Uh, power on this wheel feels more than adequate. Smooth, um, decent acceleration and uh, braking for what it is. Yeah, it's, it, 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 feels, it feels fine, I mean, for doing just nice little fart around rides. Uh, this is, this is uh, perfect for that. Yeah, so I'm gonna primarily just be riding like this kind of area to get my mileage. No need to go fast. I got the bike lane. And uh, it's a beautiful day, by the way, beautiful. I think it's like upper 70s right now, uh, relatively low, low humidity. Uh, this is nice because very soon uh, the humidity is gonna be a regular part of every day, so every low humidity day that we still have i enjoy immensely i'm cruising like 18 18 gps and you know the, the wheel has not complained yet so it's good good enough so like i said on that live stream last night i opened up my v13 it was unfortunate um when i took it out of the wheel the kickstand uh, was bent to shit. evidently it took some sort of shot on the side that totally destroyed the kickstand yeah, I might be able to bend it back, but then it's going to be weakened, so I might, I might just go without a kickstand, or I might buy another one, I don't know. We'll see. This wheel is super quiet. Thin profile tire, motor's quiet. It's, yeah, it's very, it's very stealth. Uh, you could easily roll up on someone, and, and they wouldn't know that you're there unless you had a pit zoom finger horn, and then they would. I'm doing a lap around the, uh, the county the county uh, complex. I usually walk this every day. I try to, to walk this in the afternoon. It's like a one mile loop just to, you know, instead of sitting all day, I try to get out here and, and, and walk at least once a day, get a mile in. Take you to Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. Yes, it definitely can. Uh, quick pit stop. Okay, so I've gone about five miles, uh, 5.13 miles GPS distance. And according to the app, I still have 90% battery. Oh shit, this could take longer than I thought. Interesting. Max speed of 19.4 miles an hour so far. So, all right, I got some riding to do. I guess maybe I'll go up to the pickleball course next and just fart around up there for a little bit. And I'll, I'll get my mileage instead of going west towards the city, I'll go east towards uh, the Everglades, I guess. That's, that's my thought process right now. It's so freaking nice out, guys. Oh my God, it's nice. Did I mention I'm off uh, Monday, Tuesday? Just for the hell of it, yep. I'm off Monday, Tuesday. I'm gonna have plenty of things to keep me occupied, that's for sure. Okay, I'm on the move again. Heading towards the uh, East Naples pickleball courts. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get, I'd like to get at least 20 miles in on this thing. Uh, just have to figure out how I wanna do it. There was a huge green lizard that was hauling ass over here. I, I couldn't get the camera on fast enough. He scared me. You don't have to be scared of me, buddy. He was huge. I mean, he was probably from head to toe, I don't know, between two and three feet. It wasn't an iguana. I'm not quite sure what they're called. I've seen them. Um, but you know, I don't see them very often. Figured I might as well take a little lap here inside Sugden Park. I used to ride in here once in a while. This is where I did uh, some backwards training as well. So, yeah, get a couple miles in riding around here. Yeah, I can still ride backwards. Not too hard in the V8S. 
Not as easy as the M10 Mini, but not hard. I have a, a possum. Aw, what's the matter, buddy? You okay? He's limping. Aw, poor thing, he's hurt. Shit. I'm not gonna bug you. All right, he just went into the culvert underneath there. Oh man, definitely limping. That sucks. This is a Lake Avalon. That's the name of the lake that's in the middle here. There are alligators that are in here. Uh, I, I, I saw something um, on the surface out in the distance. I'm not, it, it could have been a gator, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but it dropped, it dropped below the surface before I could determine what it was. Pretty big, whatever it was. You get a better look at the lake here. It's a good size. They have a small beach area that supposedly you can swim. I've never have. They they used to do uh, water skiing shows here. Uh, I don't know if they still do that. And they do have like some boats and shit, but I never see I never see anything out in the water. And they also they used to run uh, like triathlons here. Again, I don't know if they still do that because, like I said, there are alligators in that water. So. Uh, so, okay, we're at uh, East Naples Community Park where they have the U.S. Open, which starts next weekend. They have uh, signage up. They put up the tent. This big tent here in the middle where, like, all the vendors and, I don't know, all kinds of shit goes on there. They have actually several tents. It's, it's quite the production. Um, it's one of the bigger pickleball events in the country. And, um, yeah, so... It, the only, the only bummer for me is it closes the courts off for a week. We won't be able to play here for a week, but that's okay. They actually convert the area that's under cover there uh, to be a single court. It usually has, I think, eight courts on it or six? No, eight, I think. Uh, they convert it to be a single court where, like, all the like, championship matches are played. And they put the grandstands up last week. And, uh, yeah, they're almost, they're almost there. They don't mess around. It's pretty cool. Not many people here playing though, right? I guess it's too nice to play pickleball today. Look at this, they're all empty courts, empty, empty. Actually have this path that goes around the perimeter of the park that I've never actually ridden. I don't really know where it goes, so I'm gonna find out. Hey, I'm um, approaching 10 miles GPS distance on the V8S. And according to the app, at least my rolling battery remaining was 67%. Still got a lot of battery left. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go that long. I need to go home and walk Elsa soon and all that kind of stuff. So I definitely have uh, gotten a good feel for the wheel, though. It's, it's like the perfect just get around wheel. I mean, really. It's just, it's, it's easy. It's, a, it's maneuverable. It's easy, fast enough. And I think um, range wise, I think I could legit get 30 miles on this thing, riding these kind of speeds, at least. You can wait. All right. So uh, pedal comfort on something like this, you know, with you know, with me and with my larger than normal feet, uh, feet are hurting. But that's kind of I, I would kind of just expect that with a wheel like this. That's okay. It's not meant to be on for hours at a time, right? But again, for what it is, it's fine. Just riding past your friendly neighborhood Lamborghini dealer. Yes, there's a Lamborghini dealer. Uh, probably a mile and a half from my house. Fun fact. I described last night on my way home from Carabas how I, I got into an impromptu race with a Lamborghini uh, SUV with my Tesla. They're fast, I discovered. They're very fast. All right, I'm heading back towards my house. I got, I, I, I know all I need to know about the V8S. It's as I expected, uh, which is a, it's a good thing. It's, it's a refreshed, refreshed version of what has been a good wheel for a very long time. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Of course I can ride slow, but let's go. Someone's smoking a cigar. So anyways, yep, heading back. My, my feet hurt and my knees, I don't, I don't really feel like pounding my knees uh, more than necessary, so. I think it's a smart move to return to the homestead. Trolley handle on the V8S. Uh, great. Look at all that recycling. Leftover alcohol from last night's live stream. So you can see her as well. Can you see her? Here she is. Um, all right, so 
GPS wise, it was just short of 13 miles. And this says I still have 65% battery remaining. So I use approximately 35% to go uh, 13 miles. So yeah, I, I, I could potentially see uh, going 30 miles on this thing. I think that would be realistic. Top speed, I hit 19.7 miles an hour. I did want to check one thing. It said on the it said on uh, the Amazon site that this has a smart BMS, which I did not I did not I did not verify. I want to see see if I can find anything about it. All right, well if it has a smart BMS, I don't see anything in the app that allows me to see any sort of battery information. So that that may that may not be accurate. May not be accurate, but who knows? If you guys enjoyed this ride. Uh, please think about giving it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Big thanks to my channel members. Last time I checked, I have 23 channel members. Um, right here they are. I appreciate each and every one of you. Some of them have been channel members for somewhere around three years. It's crazy, right? But yeah, always it appreciate my channel members and of course my subscribers as well. I appreciate anyone that takes the time to watch my videos to be quite honest with you. So, so yeah, tomorrow's gonna be busy. I'm supposed to be getting the ET Max tomorrow. I need to get out in the V13, see what that feels like. And uh, yeah, I got, I got Monday and Tuesday yet to, to get in trouble. So we'll see what I can do. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for stopping in and until next time, Duff Man out. Oh, my aching knees, my aching knees. Are you ready to go on your walk? You want to go on your walk? And then we have supper? You want supper? You look very excited about that. Sound good? Okay. <laughs>